So hi again. Hey, uh, this video is another one that I get a lot of comments on from people that uh, contact me to build for them. And I know there's a lot of uh, different ways to build PlanSwift uh, to make it work within how your company does business. And there really is a lot of intricacies before you start building. Uh, they should know about. So I want to call this video the art of the build. It's not the art of the deal. It's the art of the build. And I want to show you two definite separate ty type of ways, excuse me, <coughs> that you can build Plan Swift. And this is a real important thing for you guys who are just starting to build your system and how you want to build it, okay? Uh, what do you want to do from it? So I'm going to show you two different types of builds. Uh, and kind of go from there okay one of the builds I call a it is a production rate for one single action okay and what I mean by that is I have some concrete here and I can say hey we can do 20 square feet an hour and I'm gonna put in these materials and I'm using this crew to do it okay so that's setting the production rate at the takeoff level Okay, so if I'm going to plant a tree, um, in fact, let's just go plant a tree. Okay, I have a blank sheet here, and I know all my stuff's landscape, but I build other things too, uh, tilt ups, concrete, masonry, uh, styrofoam, insulation, you name it. But so I'm going to count this tree, and in that tree that I counted, I have a, it takes two hours for my crew to plant this tree. Okay, no big deal. But what is that crew? Okay, so what I do here is I have my crew already set up and I use a large planning crew and I'll have a, a labor, an operator, and one more labor and a piece of equipment, okay? And the neat thing about this is there's a database at this level for equipment and I can establish how many people I want in my crew, okay? And I can also have databases here for the trees and the sizes. Uh, plant tabs, what kind of tree ties, whatever. So all my databases here are tied at the part level. Okay. Now the big difference between this one and the next one is uh, you can do all the math here at this level. If you set your database, or well, we'll contact that. But this this is how I prefer to build. But what it means is, uh, for example, if I'm going to do a uh, excavation. Okay, let's say I want to cut for a concrete slab of uh, 12 inches. I'm going to come here and cut the slab out. Okay, big deal. Now I want to put rock down. So, uh, I don't even know where my rock is anymore. Uh, rock, 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 concrete. Let's put, use this right here. I'm going to use a structural fill. And I can copy and paste, but I'm just going to put this in here and use my snap. And now I did my structural fill. Okay, now I want to do my... Uh, concrete okay go in here okay do my concrete and so you see I have all these takeoffs okay and now I want to let's say do my uh, um, I don't know what you call it uh, forming so I have four different takeoffs for these but each one of these has their own individual uh, production rate at the takeoff level so when I'm performing that function I'm looking at the production rate of each one of these items. Now the other thought, uh, the school of thought is, let me go ahead and sign out here. The other school of thought is, uh, remove license, yes, is if I build one takeoff item that d covers everything, and that may sound confusing and it probably will be, but for example if I wanted to uh, do a concrete takeoff. I'm going to go ahead and start a new job and let's do a concrete demo. Okay and, and hang in with me because this is real important when you're building copy because there's a huge difference on how you build. Okay and I'll just go through and hit next, 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 next and we'll put in a blank piece of paper that we can color on. Alright there we go. Okay so here's the other school thought. Okay. I can have a takeoff item 
uh, let's use our different one. This is for a customer I built in a great group of people. But um, let's say I want to have a slab on grade. But in that slab on grade, I'm not even going to measure just the concrete, but I'm going to measure the layout, the excavation, the base rock, the vapor barrier, the forming, the rebar, the concrete, the screening, the backfill, and the concrete cure with just one measurement. Okay. And with that one measurement, it's really cool. But here, here's the goods and the bads. Okay. The good is I can just go like this and now I've calculated everything there okay all of that has been calculated so if you look at the takeoff you can see that I have 3,000 square feet of concrete 3,000 square feet of layout uh, 278 yards of concrete to be removed uh, and on down the line how many inches do I have there let's just go uh, 12 inches it seems like a lot okay so a uh, vapor barrier everything's done but I cannot look at this and honestly and say how many how many what kind of production rate am I going to have for all these activities because you really can't break it down that fine tune fine so what I do is I can say hey my production rate for layout is 75 square feet an hour my excavation is so many cubic yards an hour my base rock is so many cubic yards an hour and within that uh, like the vapor barrier, I can have a labor and the vapor barrier. Vapor barrier can be tied to a database, no problem. Uh, forming comes in here, and you can see that they have their own production rate for each one of these. And these guys are pulling the information from the parent item, in this case is the assembly. Okay, so it's kind of a cool thing, but there's two different types of bills. One where you have labor and material working from a production rate from the assembly level okay and you do all your math at the assembly level okay otherwise you're doing the math at the part level like what was on the landscape one so I'm hoping I didn't confuse everything because this has been seven minutes so far but as you're building please make sure you you think about that how am I doing do I want to do multiple items with one takeoff uh, there is a lot of hard work to that um, or do I want to do it where uh, for example, everything is just a drag and drop from here. I can drag in materials. I can drag in as many materials as I want where the other items, I'm kind of stuck to a database. I can drag in as many guys in the crew I want, many pieces of equipment. I can make changes, but my production rate is set at the uh, takeoff level. So if you have questions, do contact me. My contact information is at the beginning of the video. Uh, but hopefully this helps you think about it. If you guys need help, uh, I, I do work for people. I've, I've built anything from framing packages to lumber packages to drywall to metal studding to uh, foam insulation on beams to concrete to masonry to landscape to excavation to I don't know. It, the list goes on. And I love it. I, lear I learn so much from everybody that I work for. Um, and I'm pretty quick uh, so if you're interested give me a call okay or an email probably be better because that's what you're gonna get on the video thanks for watching appreciate it